Hello, this is Mr. Zhang uh, from Visa in Korea. Uh, how about your holidays and uh, New Year's and holiday, right? And I'm uh, actually uh, due to COVID-19 and situation, uh, it is very difficult to gathering all family members in one house, and um, also the me as well. Um, you know, it's, it was very difficult to visit my mother or my wife's mother's house in Chala province. So it was very hard time for me, but we will make our schedule to visit there, right? And once the COVID-19 situation is getting better. Okay. Um, and as I posted last time on my uh, YouTube, uh, my Facebook page, and um, I received a lot of questions from uh, about the lectures. So today's lecture is about if you are holding F1 and uh, F1 and uh, is a spouse spouse visa, right? And and F3 is the same thing, the spouse visa. And if, and if they really want to get a work permit and a, and a work to do somewhere, right? So. Uh, this is a work permit is called it engaging in activities not covered not covered by current status of state is the F1 and F3 it is not covered for the working so uh, actually is the engage in activities not covered by status of state I just abbreviate and shorten the term as extra extra the work permit right so i will explain the even like the same thing right even if uh, you are holding working visa and if you work further at a certain field right it is the same thing right it, it doesn't matter about e1 or e7 or d5 news coverage d6 religion and this seven uh, uh, intra company and the dispatching and a visa from overseas, right? Even like a D eight visa, right? And even D nine visa, right? It's the investment visa, right? So, so it doesn't matter about your holding and the certain the long term visa or if you are the working at a certain field, right? Or you are just working after dispatching or news coverage, or you just invest a certain amount of money in Korea and operating your own business. It doesn't matter. It's the same thing. If and uh, not covered your visa, right? Is uh, not covered your visa. And if you work a certain place in a certain field, not covered your status of stay you have to get work permit from immigration office so i will let you know what is the what is the the main the requirement and the qualification if you want to get a permission the work permission from immigration office okay we see the next one okay the reason extra working permit uh I just to let you know the two things and the first the uh, first and the reason and second the reason I met a lot of person is the mostly and the first religion is uh only just a long term visa but cannot allow to work that kinds of person and they really really want to work because as you know like um, the living in korea like a uh, monthly expenses are very high so really want to support their spouse right in this reason and they really want to work especially f1 visa and f3 visa f1 is a spouse spouse of f2 and the visa right and f3 is a d5 d6 and the d7 dispatching 
right and d8 investment and oh i'm sorry and d9 right etc and e1 visa to e7 visa holders and the spouse visa is f3 so we are focusing on the first case right the first case why they want to like a chain uh like a like a want to get their working permit right the no, working permit from immigration office the first case first reason is that kinds of a long-term f1 f3 visa want to work so but but as as i said already f1 and f3 is a spouse visa from main visa holders right main visa holders so they the actually they have to change it uh, f1 or f3 the visa uh, to uh, you know d7 it isn't allowed but d5 and d6 but this is uh and from the overseas so i just did exclude it and and d7 also uh it is a uh, dispatched from overseas so, so d8 and d9 and e1 to uh, e7 but we are just talking about the working visa right so investment we will erase it right so like this so in this case they have they really want to work and especially but most of the persons that you want to eat seven right this field right so if they really want to work they have to change from f3 f1 to that visa right but but there is some of the exceptions so why they want to the maintain their f1 and f3 and want to get just work permit this is some of the reasons that what is the reason oh wait a minute oh oh cannot go back <laughs> i'm sorry for that wow so okay i just explain here right because of our the first case first case and the f1 visa and f3 but the base uh this is a spouse visa right so what is the reason right reason to not change it to for example and e1 to e7 why they want to change it because their original visa and the spouse for example there is some of the e2 english instruction and the, the spouse is a f3 so but nobody knows when and uh, and e2 and the spouse and go to another company or just uh moving to another uh country so that's why they really want it maintained maintain their work or just the short term short term work so that's why and they they really want it uh they don't like to change another visa and they just want to the maintain maintain and their their current f3 visa but they want to work as a short term right in this case they need to get a work permit right in this first case this is the second case second case is um uh, th this one is uh they really maintain the work right this is the first one second one is uh for example e1 to e7 visa right and if they it allows a certain uh the work and they can work e1 to e7 criteria extra work work at in a certain field right extra so they are maintaining current visa and they 
want to get additional work permit and work uh, for example and saturday or sunday right etc uh, if they got permitted they can work that right so this is, a, this is the first case and second case but today is a, we are the focusing on the first case right first case somebody holding f1 and f3 and how to change on uh, not change right how to get their working permit right i will just focus on the case of one right good okay so what is the eligible person so as i talked to you and before and the most important thing is it shall be the eligible person so we are right now and focusing on f1 and f3 visa right there are lots of the visas and they can get work permit extra work permit i said already but we are just focusing on f1 visa and f3 visa right this is a, a spouse of an e1 professor to special activity visa and d5 news coverage d6 religion visa and d7 uh, dispatching the from headquarter uh, overseas headquarter and the d8 investment d9 trading spouse and but usually f1 is our f2 visas holders and spouse right this is the one what we did right is that we are just focusing on F1 and F3 visa holders, right? Okay, go to the next one. Okay, so what is the eligible working visas? We can check that. What is the eligible one, right? The first one is, but I said that oh, we are just a working for me, working permit. We focused on work, right? The first one. E type E1, E2, and the mostly E7 visa, right? So E1 is a professor, right? Our uh, E3 researcher. So professor, professor. You if you meet the professor requirement is a PhD degree or sometime the master degree, right? And you find university and you work at that uh certain field right so it doesn't matter about the how long right but usually that one is a uh, need full time but extra working permit right extra working permit uh but you can decide that the three hours per day it doesn't matter right and uh, and monthly so it, it shall be over right over uh three months more than three months and you can renewal we Re, uh renewal is possible right so if you do you can find the university you can apply for the e1 the professor field for working as in the professor is a short time it doesn't matter right okay the how about the E2? E2 is a okay. Okay. E2 is the English instructor, right? E2. So the basic requirement, but if you are still in Korea with a F1 and F3, it uh, you cannot uh, go to other country to get E2, but actually when and e2 visa and and the applicant and the, the you know work in korea they have to apply e2 visa from overseas but if you are holding f1 f3 is a long term the visa right but you can apply to the e2 visa inside of korea right so the basic requirement is but just the english right uh there is a chinese english spanish and french there are a lot of things but i am just focusing on the english first okay so if you want to work as a uh, e2 right and the field 
as an extra working extra working permit the first one you have to the from right your nationality right the from where USA Canada and New Zealand and Australia and um, uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, uh, England and South Africa. So you, uh, your nationality is uh, one of the things, okay? The second one is you need to get better theory. It doesn't matter about Korea or uh, other countries. It doesn't matter, right? This is a basic requirement, right? And and uh, they they will check it. Um, uh, and uh, and the working contract, correct with uh, Hagwon the English institutions, right? And uh, some, the health checkup. And number five, FBI criminal record. Yeah, yeah. This is a basic requirement for the extra working permit, right? The For the E2. So if you, the one of the superior, oh, also, uh, if you get additional one, if you get a uh, TESO, oh, okay, TESO and a master in Korea, right? Even though you are not the one of those and um, nationalities, right? You can apply for the E2 or just, and uh, you are holding just F1 and F3 visa and you can do uh, your extra and a working permit from the immigration office. Okay, got it? F3, the researcher, the same thing, master or postdoc and a person, if you meet this requirement, and you can apply for that. Uh, we are just focusing on the E7 right now. E7 is, uh, there are a lot of things to explain. So I'll just explain the right now about the E7. Okay. So, you know, uh, I just started this uh, Microsoft and a PowerPoint and a system to record and my uh, lecture, right? This is um, with a more wide and uh, the screen. So when I just write down the way uh, to explain about, you know, any, any explanation, right? It is a more easier way to write down Okay, anyway, and the most thing is E7 is uh, it's a special, special and ability. But there are 85 jobs, but allows like a 67 professional jobs. The basic requirement is the same thing, right? Just so a F1 visa to change E7 or just an extra working permit. It's a requirement. It's the same thing, right? But uh, you know, if you just apply for the extra working permit, and uh, it is not required for the full-time worker. But if you visa change from your F1 and F3 and need full-time, but Extra working permit not required for a uh, full time. Not required full time depth. Three hours a day is okay. Uh, and and uh, the Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, it is okay, right? But 
E7 visa change requires for the full time. It's totally different, right? And visa change. But actual working permit, you can just hold your F1 and F3, and you can adjust certain time, right? Good. So what is the requirement in E7? The first one, and you have to get a bachelor's degree. And the one year working experience. Or if you got a master's and PhD, no need an experience. But if you graduate in Korea, one of Korean university, working experience is not required. Okay, good. The second one in the matching to your major. And working field in your company, right? And 67 jobs category in E7, E7 visa field, okay? Oh, I'm sorry. So you have to meet this requirement, okay? Number two. Bachelor's degree or one year working experience or master degree, PhD degree, and no need in the working experience. But one of the Korean university, if you have this one and even associate degree, no need of working experience. And the second one is a matching your major and the working experience, working field, and the E7 job and the criteria, job field, six to seven job, it shall be met, right? This is uh, uh, the main requirement. And number three, company. So requirement. What is the company? Need more than five Koreans. Five Koreans, right? This is a very important part. Good. Okay. And um, and also uh, at least based on your working hours, right? Hourly income shall be over higher than 87, uh, 8,721. Okay, last five, number five. Your yearly and uh, working yearly uh, working contract shall be Gen.I 80%. So if you work in the basin, then you have to meet this Gen.I 80%, right? Monthly, right? Good. Okay, what is the next one? Eligible qualification, I just explained that, right? So uh, important thing, I just focus on E2. E2 is bachelor's and English only, or uh, English, if I just said English, right? And bachelor's and um, and the six countries, etc. and FBI, criminal check. It's a basic. And the E7 visa, right? E7 is a qualification. Bachelor plus one year working experience or master, PhD, no need experience. And um, uh, your major 67 and the professional, professional job and matching with your major and your, uh, your position at that hiring company. Oh. I'm sorry. Right? This is a eligible qualification. So it means that finally, I just, uh, just summarize that each type of visa, right? Working permit area is a E1, E2, uh, the E7, right? And D5, but but usually, right, the E7 visa field, there are lots of other fields that. Uh, field there, 
right? So they have to meet their requirement. So, so that's why I am just explaining it very simply. But even if you are just work as a, you know, like a, a two hours per day or something, you have to meet this one. And I just explain one more thing, right? Because most of the person and the curious, curious about and what is the part-time working and internship and other stuff, right? I just explain. This is a very important thing. That's why I explain you. This is a very, very the important thing. Okay. Uh, okay. What a minute. Yeah. Okay, so what is the difference? Internship. What is the difference part time? The worst different extra working permit. Okay, the internship, like uh, it doesn't matter, and but. Usually, D10 one visa holders apply for internship, right? And a part time only D2, D4, the persons uh, can can apply for that. Extra working permit, I said already, E1, visa 2, E7. So, working time, time, they can choose, right? The time, working time, and they can choose, they can based on contract, right? But this is uh, actually with uh, within 20 hours per week. But Saturday, Sunday, it is not matter. So Saturday, Sunday, and uh, and uh, the vacation time, they can work without any these restrictions. So 20 hours per per week, Monday through the Friday during the semester, right? But after semester, if you got the their work permit, right? The part-time work permit, right? You can work that, right? And then the Saturday, Sunday, and the vacation, even though you need uh, permission, okay? So the time, right? This one is important. It's, it doesn't matter, right? Regular, regular time is a full time, okay? And, and like a part-time, Okay, no problem. Okay, so internship only D10 visa holders, right? And they can do and uh, the and because of our intern only allows D10, right? The part time D2 and D4. This is a uh, non-professional. Non-professional work field, right? So you can't work E1 to E7 field, you cannot. Like serving and like a delivery service and it is okay, but non-professional working only. Uh, D10-1 is a professional, professional work only, like a E1 to E7. Good? And a part time D2, D4, and the visa holder, non professional work. E1, E7, it is not allowed, okay? So, extra work permit, the same thing, internship, E1 and E7, like a professional, prof professional working. Good? Good. I'm very clarif clarifying uh, your questions, really. Okay, kindly subscribe us Visa in Korea and YouTube channel and we will make it better, right? Better, better and uh, lecturing for uh, immigration, Korea immigration and the visa and the policies, etc. This is Mr. Zhang and Visa in Korea. See you next time. Bye-bye.